Well, St. John's was, uh, they were really good to start the game. Uh, as good as, as good as good as I've seen them, uh, you know, for, for us, the way we're built, you know, we have to try to keep them out of the paint uh, and try to force them into jump shots. And obviously, uh, they made every jump shot they looked at the first half. So it didn't matter whether we were trying going through man to man. We went two, three zone, a couple possessions. They, they had jump shots against that as well. So uh, the credit really goes to them. I, did, I didn't think we probably fought as quite as hard as we needed to fight early in the game. Uh, and I thought we had good looks the first 10 possessions. I think we only scored two of them. Uh, and, you know, they got off and run. And once, once they got confidence, it was really hard to stop. Jordan was outstanding. He was, uh, you know, he, he was uh, without question the best player on the floor today. Yeah, I mean, as uh, Coach said, they came out and shot the ball really well um, to start the game. I mean, s hit some tough shots, but we weren't doing our job to uh, to kind of make them miss. Uh, allowed, allowed them to get going, allowed them to get their confidence up, and then kind of kept hitting shots throughout the game and made it tough for um, us to kind of chip away and get back in that one. Oh, I mean, it's pretty big. I think he scored 20-plus points today. I mean, shot really well from outside um, and just kind of caused us to have to stretch the defense a little bit, um, which gave them lanes to get to the basket. And that's something kind of if you're playing St. John's, you got to keep them out of the paint. And when they're hitting like that, it's, it's kind of tough to stop Volts. And that's what we didn't do today. appreciate that he waited for this game to do it. Uh, you know, he, he, he's, he's played better as of late uh, and has had games where he, where he shot it better. Uh, but, we, you know, we didn't have an answer for him today. And, uh, you know, he was, uh, you know, they started the small lineup, which, you know, for some teams that, that, uh, that, that might pose a problem for St. John's when they're that small. For us, because we essentially play four guards with Ricky at the four, uh, we had a hard time taking advantage of it the first half. I didn't think our, our our centers, the guys we went with to start the game and the first time they went in, did a very good job of 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 taking advantage of mismatches. The second half, we did a much better job. Grozel was good down there. Uh, Artino was effective and active with some seals. But we weren't able to uh, make that happen for us at the start of the game, which is when we needed to have it happen. And in some ways, it was... Uh, we would have been better offensively with Obekba on the floor than the guys they had on the floor. Well, I, I mean, you can pull him away from the basket in ball screens. That's how we won the game in, in Omaha. Uh, you know, we played Hagner at the five and pulled him away, and Toby had five or six threes that game. Um, and you know today they were able to really switch everything. And, and as I talked about earlier, because we didn't take advantage of it in the post, it, it really played right into their hands. And by the time our guys figured out what needed to have what needed to happen, uh, we were already down 20. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, you get down as much as we did against any team. Um, it's kind of tough to kind of keep a mentality that you can't kind of do it all at once. You got to go in kind of four-minute segments and kind of chip away at that lead. But with the way they were playing offensively today and kind of we weren't doing the best we could um, on defense to kind of force them to miss, it kind of made it, made it a pretty tall task more so than it already was. Um, and that's something we got to work on. I mean, when when teams get going like that, we can't you – know, there's, there's going to be runs, but we can't let it extend as far as it did.
Yeah, I mean, it's something we really can't afford to allow happen. Um, I mean, we're, we're capable of scoring in bunches, um, but even still, against the teams in the Big East, if you give up a lead like that, you're, you're going to have your work cut out for you um, trying to get back in the game. And it's something that we've seen it's, it's tough to do. I mean, even if we can put together a little five, eight-point run, um, the teams we're playing against are just as likely to come and do the same, and you can't really afford to uh, get down 20-plus points. Uh, I don't think there's any question with, uh, <clears throat> you know, with, with Green, Harrison, and Jordan, you have three high-level guards. Uh, you've got two rim protectors in, in Pointer and, and Obekba. Uh, you know, I, it's, it's an extremely talented team. It's just, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure Coach Labin's looking for consistency just like we're looking for consistency. and, and uh, uh, <coughs> they're without a question. I think, like last year, they're a team that can get on a run and a team that nobody would want to see uh, in the NCAA tournament. <coughs> well, we were just trying to you know, try to quit throwing gas on the fire. It seemed like what we were doing, uh, and it, it didn't seem to matter which defense we switched to. Uh, there were some communication mistakes, a few mistakes in transition, uh, but I, I just didn't think the whatever defense we played, it just didn't have the teeth that it needed to have. Uh, and you know, we got you, know, you don't want to get beat to the right on when Harrison's got the ball. You don't want Pointer to beat you to the left, and uh, because that's what they like to do, and and they still did that. So that's discouraging uh, that we can't follow a. Uh, personnel-based game plan a little bit better than that, and those were some of the things we talked about, and just to try to stop their momentum. You know, they were uh, obviously they were rolling that first half. That's as it's as good a offensive half uh, as anybody's played against us in a long time. Well, you know, I, I think we, we we attempted to put a little bit more pressure on the basketball. Uh, you know, and I, I just think it's human nature when you come out of the locker room with a 20-plus point lead, you don't have maybe the same focus that you need to have. Uh, and, you know, they, they, weren't, they weren't as aggressive in attacking as they were the first half uh, to start the second half. So, um, you know, they, uh, this is a good basketball team. They played well today. And, you know, when they play like that, they're going to be tough to beat. Thank you.